several days of some pretty rough weather in the area and clearly across the state. Uh, thank you again for joining us and supporting this event. Uh, I'll spend a couple of seconds, and I don't see uh, Mayor Luttrell now. He was here. Right here. Mayor, right here. Mayor, Mayor Luttrell's here. Um, yep, I got County, County Commissioner Mike Carpenter. Who's in the back? We have uh, City Councilman Kim Conrad. Okay. And then we have uh, Board of Education, Memphis Board of Education, uh, Kenneth Whaley. We're pleased everybody could be here. Uh, again, glad, 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 glad the weather turned out well. And uh, I'll turn the microphone over to the governor of the great state of Tennessee, Governor Bill Hassan. Thank you all. It is really, really good to be here. Before I go any further, about 20 people said, where's Chris? Everybody I talked to said, where's Chrissy? Uh, unfortunately, uh, she had a, a commitment a long time ago for a board that she's on to be there tonight. It can't be here, but... Uh, I'm in big trouble for coming to Memphis without her. Um, let me say one thing, and I want to talk, and then I'm going to introduce Bob, but if I can steal a little personal note, I, I want to thank you all uh, for all the help. So many people standing here helped me to uh, have the job that I have now. And I'm sure somewhere there's a better job than being governor of Tennessee, maybe the United States Senator, but with all due respect, <laughs> with all due respect, uh, it is a wonderful privilege to get to do what I do. Uh, and I wouldn't be doing it without the help of so many of you here. And, and I want you to know that I'm grateful. I, I never, ever walk in that office one day, uh, any day, without thinking uh, how grateful I am and how many people helped me. Uh, I'm get, people ask me all the time, do you like doing it? And I love it, but it takes a little getting used to it. I still walk in a restaurant, people go, look, there's the governor, and I turn, turn around to find <laughs> Brad. <laughs> so, I'll get the hang of this in a little while, but, uh, but I love doing it. I, I don't want to, like I said, let the night pass without thanking you for doing that, because so many people here play a huge role in us, in us being able to, uh, to do this. Say, let me just say a, a word about uh, Bob. As you all know, I've known Bob since literally I was uh, in like a sophomore, for actually younger than that, I was in eighth grade or ninth grade, I think, when I first met Bob, and have always been an admirer of his. But even more so now, I would not be standing, uh, I wouldn't be the governor of Tennessee, I would have never been the mayor of Knoxville if it wasn't for Bob, who really talked to me about the seriousness of public service and why it matters, why if good people don't run, we end up with problems, and why it, it makes so much difference to do this. And I literally decided to run for mayor because Bob talked to me about how important he how much he had uh, enjoyed and thought it made a difference being the mayor of Chattanooga and when I came time to run for governor I went and talked to Bob as well because he had served as the finance and administration commissioner for the state uh, he had done, been through a two-year campaign like I knew I would have to do and I knew better than almost anybody he had a sense for what it was like uh, but even beyond that to, in, in days now in my current job I call Bob all the time to ask him well tell me here's the problem tell me what you think uh, and his advice is solid, and it's always about doing the right thing, okay? When you call a lot of people in political office, they give you a political answer. They'll say, well, if you'll do this, it will help you. But Bob always starts with, well, what's the right answer, and goes there. And it matters that we have people like Bob. Every, I think all of us would say we're frustrated with the way Washington is, probably Bob, <laughs> for most of all. Uh, but we want people who are frustrated with Washington, and want people who realize that we're not solving problems. And what Bob is about is solving problems. And uh, he is willing to work past whatever he has to to get to the right answer. And that's why that really matters for all of us. But even beyond the, the dealing with the big national issues, it matters for us as Tennesseans. Today, uh, Bob and I have been traveling. Uh, unfortunately, it, it, I was just thinking standing in this gorgeous backyard. Looks are deceiving. Yesterday was a horrible day for the state of Tennessee. Storms uh, all over the state. We had 33 people die in Tennessee yesterday. Okay. Well, Bob has been with me all through southeast Tennessee. We'll be meeting tomorrow with the Corps of Engineers to talk about the Mississippi River flooding potential. He doesn't, that's not in his job description, okay? But he cares, uh, and he wants to help solve problems for Tennessee, whether they be figuring out our health care issues and the national deficit, 
or helping uh, with immediate issues uh, in, in Tennessee, which is what he what he did today with me. So uh, know this, that by helping Bob, you are, I think, helping the country in a very big way, and you're helping Tennessee in very, very specific ways, and that's why I'm grateful that you're here tonight. So I think my job is to introduce Bob, which I hopefully I just did, uh, <laughs> by telling you uh, how important it is that we keep Bob there, how uh, helpful he is for me as governor, uh, and how important it is end of the day, forget everything else that we elect people who want to do the right thing and not just the politically right thing. So with that, I introduce uh, what, who I think is uh, uh, one of the two best United States senators <laughs> in the country, uh, Senator Bob Corker. <laughs>
that I have ever given any political figure, I am not going to run for <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.